Hi friends, in our last session we have created a table in a database to have control on our source files to download, right? So in this session, let's work on task three, that is SSIS package design to read and map the source configuration table data that we have created in the last session to a variable in SSIS package so that it loops through all the files, all the configuration details in SSIS package and downloads all the files from the URL. So let's go ahead to our package design and open our first package now. So in order to read the configuration details from SQL Server, the task that it supports is execute SQL task, right? So let's drag that into designer and then open execute SQL task. Now I want to choose OLEDB connection and then connection is our local host. Let's uh, create a connection from here. Now connection is new. Now enter your server name that is local host. Now database is the new database who is DB. Now click OK. Now click OK. Now SQL statement, the table that we have created is this. So I want to queue that config ID comma config value both this. Now control C, control V and then click OK. Now go to parameters. Now go to result set because we are returning multiple rows from the table. We have to return it to a result set. Now let's choose result set as full result set. Now go to result set and add and then enter any name here like uh, because that's a full result set. We have to choose zero and then variable name click new variable now enter your name as config object now object it's a type of object right because it's returning multiple rows full result set so it's an object type and click ok now click ok so our configuration fetch config right now let's execute our package or task to test whether we mapped it correctly or not. So executed successfully. So now we've got our configuration details into a variable in SSIS. So the next thing that we need to do is go to our source so here we have to have this URL stored in somewhere, right? Let's copy this URL and create a parameter here. Like I want to have that stored in a project parameter. So I want to store that in a project parameter. So I want to create a project parameter. So let's go to here and right click and open now these are project parameters so click new so here store that path that is source url data type is string and value is this right so i want to store that in a variable save it so we have got our source url ready to use that in our package. Now we need to build full path with file name. So let's build that path by by looping through each file. So okay. So now we have got all our dependencies like we've got our configuration into a variable and we have got our URL path in a source URL variable 
so we got all the details that we need to download a file files from this URL so this is our task 3 and let's continue to our task 4 in the next session thanks for watching my video see you in the next task